Who was that guy on Fifth Avenue? I was walking up Fifth Avenue in New York City last month, and there were lots of people talking. I heard voices everywhere. But as I looked around, all the voices I heard belonged to people talking on their cell phones, not to each other. I smiled and shook my head and told myself that it's a new world, I guess. And then I heard a voice that was louder than the others. It was a man's voice. It was an urgent voice, a voice that was strong and serious. He could have been yelling, taxi, or extra, extra, read all about it. But what he said as I passed by, what he was saying to everyone who passed by was, I love you, I love you. I broke my own rule about walking in New York, and I actually locked eyes with him. It wasn't on purpose. I was just trying to see who belonged to that voice. He was a fairly clean-looking fellow in jeans and a jacket and T-shirt. He didn't appear to be panhandling. He wasn't handing out flyers. He wasn't carrying a sign. There were no snickering friends standing nearby watching him complete a college dare. He didn't have a wild look in his eye. He had a pleasant smile on his face. He didn't seem to want anything but to tell people they were loved by somebody. But he had to be crazy, right? I mean, who would stand out on a street corner and tell strangers that he loved them? Who would bother to say something positive to the world as it passed by? Something to tell them that they were worth loving no matter who they are, no matter where they had come from? Who would want to humble himself just to lift someone else up? Who would ever do something like that? A crazy person, right? Or maybe an angel? Before I could stop myself, I heard myself calling back, I love you too. Then I kept walking. I don't know. Was that crazy? All I know is that whatever his reasons... His courage touched my heart, and weeks later, he's the only person I remember in that river of humanity that day on Fifth Avenue. Isn't it always that way? Don't we always remember the one who stood out from the crowd and risked it all to share his good news? The one who dared to tell us that we were loved. See you soon.